guess the main problem is that sometimes a, a soaked rag or a pile of sawdust will catch on fire. This has happened in some of the biodiesel plants and it's, it's a safety issue. When we started this process, we, we tried making, making spontaneous combustion happen. Uh, we were just using biodiesel. And we tried a couple different things and never could make it, make it go. Uh, and then one time uh, we tried adding a little linseed oil because linseed oil is a, a real drying oil. It was boiled linseed oil, so it didn't have any antioxidants left in it. It's a very drying oil, so it oxidizes readily. We tried some of that in it, and uh, it uh, basically combusted. So we did a few more like that. Keeping, uh, you know, keeping a close watch on it, monitoring it. We had thermocouples in them, we had a camera on them, and uh, we had uh, ventilation going. What we are doing now is we're, we're producing biodiesel made from soybean oil, and we're going to degrade it to, a, you know, partially degrade it so that it's at the point where it's oxidizing uh, quite readily, and then repeat the experiments. Um, what we would like to do uh, ultimately is produce uh, a, and develop a procedure that that anyone can replicate. So if we if we could do it time and again, then anyone who wants to can replicate it, and then. Well, anyway, by, do, by, by being able to document the different steps, we would, at the same time, uh, develop safety measures to avoid this happening. And as a, as a, you know, as a safety precaution, we're, we're doing this inside, so we basically had, uh, we, had a, we had a person monitor the whole process and with, you know, with, with this with all the safety equipment and fire extinguisher and all that. And um, this person that was monitoring it actually caught, uh, caught a pretty good video on his phone and it looks pretty spectacular.